Hi, I'm Louisa and I just wanted to show you a short session that you can do to get your spine moving, mobilise your hips and your shoulders. Um, I'm going to demonstrate it in a kneeling position, but if kneeling isn't appropriate for you, you could do the same movements, either seated, really tall, or possibly standing and just working to keep your pelvis stable. So there's a couple of options if you needed them. Otherwise, you can join me in a high kneeling position. So I'm going to just set myself up initially with knees directly under hips, and then I'm going to bring one leg forward. So the leg that's come forward, really important to try and have that at a right angle. Any narrower is a bit too much load on the knee for this. So I'm trying to stack up. I've got the hip in line with my knee and my knee in line with the ankle and the foot parallel. The other leg that I'm weight bearing on, my knee is directly underneath my hip and you can always use a cushion if you needed to for comfort there. Important also, we're going to just add a slight pelvic tilt forward, minuscule. And as you do that, you should feel the glutes kick in a little bit and a little bit more opening of the hip. So throughout, we're going to try and keep this lower half steady until we swap sides. Um, and as I mentioned, if this isn't good, you could do high kneeling both legs, seated or standing in the same movement. So once you're all set up, I'm going to bring the arms up in, and have the hands in line with my breastbone. Just check the shoulders are tense to try and just soften and release them down. So try lengthen up as much as you can with your top half. And we're going to do bow and arrow. I'm going to inhale, hand to chest. Exhale, rotate and open. Breath there. Ribs bring you back. And arm comes to close. Other side, inhale, hand to chest. Exhale, rotate and open. Breath there. Ribs bring you back. And arm comes to close. Just one more each side. So soften the shoulders if you need to. Inhale, hand to chest, exhale, rotate and open, breath, and then gliding back again. So inhale, hand to chest, exhale, rotate and open, breath, and then gliding back again. We stay in this arrangement if you can, and I'm gonna bring my hand onto the thigh where I've got the leg in front of me. The other arm is just down by my side. I'm gonna do a side reach, one to each side. So inhale up, exhale over, still keep that little pelvic tilt, Breath into there and then stacking back up. One more, same side. Inhale up, exhale up and over and then stacking back up again. Still keeping that little tilt. And then we're going to bring the hands behind your head. Elbow, shoulders soft. Try and find as much length as you can. And um, if you do not have osteoporosis, we're going to do the forward flexion. If you do, ignore that bit and just work on the extension, please. So we're keeping that length and, and Softening the shoulders, so breath in here to lengthen. And as I breathe out, I'm going to just lengthen into a little bit of chin tuck and come into a slight kind of curl up, roll down movement. Breath into there and unravel. Soften shoulders if you need to, taking a breath and then just shine your gaze and breastbone to the ceiling. Breath here and then lengthening back up. And let's do that once each, each um, direction. So maybe adding the little forward flexion, stack up and soften lengthen and then that little bit of upper back extension okay right, and then we're going to swap onto the other side you pass back through your high kneeling position and then the second leg will come at that right angle shape so the supporting knee directly under hip the other leg at a right angle hip knee in line with your ankle foot parallel remember to add that little pelvic tilt so you should feel glutes kick in, hip open a little bit more. I'm going to wiggle my toes a little bit there, but cramp on that side. So we're going to try and keep that lower half as steady as you can. And we're bringing the arms up to do two bow and arrows each side. So hands in line with breastbone, elbow, shoulders soft. Inhale, hand to chest. Exhale, rotate and open. Breath, and then gliding back again. So inhale, hand to chest. Exhale, rotate and open. Breath and then gliding back again. Soften shoulders if you need to, just one more to each side. Inhale, hand to chest. Exhale, rotate and open. Breath, and then gliding back again. Then you're gonna place your hand on the middle of the thigh, with the leg that's in front of you, other arm down by your side. Keeping that little pelvic tilt. Inhale, arm and palm up. Exhale, up and over to your side reach. Breath into there and then stacking back up. One more, same side. Inhale up, 
exhale over, breath there, and then stacking back up. And then we bring the arms behind the head, elbows, shoulders soft, try to lengthen the spine as much as you can, ignore the forward, the forward part of this movement, the flexion, if you have osteoporosis, please. So you can inhale, lengthen, keep that pelvic tilt, and exhale, just like a little roll down, or a little bit of a curl up, breath there, and then unraveling, to stack back up and soften, find that length, and the next exhale, just shine your gaze and breastbone to the ceiling, and then stacking back up. Just one more, so lengthen, chin tuck as you exhale, a little, little mini roll down, or curl up, unravel to stack up, soften shoulders, and then shining your gaze, and breastbone to the ceiling with the extension, and then coming back again. And then from there, you can just come out of that staggered kneeling position. And if you need to kind of shake out hips, shake out shoulders, please do. And I hope that's helpful just to give you a very quick six minute mobility session that hopefully is easy to fit in now and again during your day. So thank you for joining me. If you find this helpful, I'd be grateful if you could click like or subscribe to the page, but thanks very much. Take care. Bye.